Hey there, fellas. Remember this bad boy right here? We ramped up the ground clearance, and after that we had a go. We drove out onto a field and had some fun on a rough dirt road. Anyway, it's been standing here grounded, and oh my, has the grass grown fast. Looks like the car might be seriously tangled, with it being subject to this sort of assault. Anyway, so we've decided to brush off the dust and do something with this car. Then again, I'm not sure you can really call this a car. It's more like a beater. Anyway, here's the idea. Someone left this picture in our suggestion box. And I'm curious to find out how this amount of shock absorbers affects a car's driving dynamics. We have a few of those lying around. I don't think the color is going to be a critical issue. So the plan is to fit a bunch of shocks to the car and go for a drive. We do have a video on the original channel where this thing was driving, jumping around. So we got all of that recorded. And now we just do another test. To see how this thing behaves with a bunch of shock absorbers attached to it. I'm genuinely curious to see what comes out of this. Right, let's go ahead and put something together, and then head out to do some testing. Let's do this. Fitting a ridiculous amount of shock absorbers to a car. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Check this out, fellas. We've got the car where we want it. Then again, I don't even know what we've done here with the suspension. We're currently running... One, two, three, four, five, six... Holy cow! Six shocks on each side. We had to leave the leaf springs in there, since the Volga axle does need them in order to stay in place. It's not like you can suspend it by just the shocks. So we are running a crazy amount of shocks. Now we get it off the trailer. We're in the same place as last time. A field where you've got plenty of nasty... Well, they're not that bad, but the roads are quite rough. Okay, time to try it out. Do some spirited driving and see how the suspension does its thing with such a crazy amount of shock absorbers. Right, let's roll this thing off the trailer. And head out. Let's do this. Test run number one. Everything is prepared. 12 shocks. Let's roll. Oh, come on, start. Fantastic. And we're off. Here we go! What the hell? The suspension ain't working. This many shock absorbers? It is very harsh. Nah, guys. This is just too much. We've overdone it. Yeah, 
Oh, my poor back. This is horrible. Screw this. Nah, man. I mean, there's basically no weight over the rear end, but, like... It used to be much better. The suspension was way softer. <laughs> this is some deadly pleasure. It's just too rough. Your back takes a serious pounding, especially on this type of seat. It's somewhat reminiscent of driving that lotto when... Instead of springs, we welded in some metal piping, so it had no suspension compliance. And this feels pretty much the same. I suggest we detach a few of them. There are just too many of them. I reckon we should unscrew the ones that are placed opposite each other. The ones we've got cross-mounted. I mean, this setup isn't letting the suspension work. Especially given the weight. Check this out. I weigh 100 kilos, and it won't budge. Get rid of the cross-mounted ones. We've removed four of them, leaving eight vertically mounted ones in place. Well, a few of them are placed at a slight angle. Now we go for a ride and see what happens when you got eight shock absorbers left. Let's do this. Here we go. It's still... Not a particularly soft ride. Not at all compliant. Nope. On how many? Eight? Even when they're placed vertically, it's still very stiff. Unbelievably stiff. Damn it. The last thing we need right now is rain. The thing is that we don't have much weight back here. In any case, it just doesn't work. This rear end is hard as a rock. So we've decided to remove all of them except for two. Now that should make it... It'll still differ from stock, since they will be mounted vertically instead of at an angle. Anyway, we'll remove almost all of them. How many is that? I've lost count at this point. Six. Right, we remove six and leave two. So it used to be that we had two shocks mounted at an angle, but these are going to be straight. And then we have a go before we get washed away. I mean, we did just find ourselves in quite a downpour. We couldn't even see anything behind that wall of rain. The road is wet, but no worries. I'll just do some drifting in the grass, hopefully. We'll definitely find some bumps, since they did plow this field the whole way around. Some big cars came through and left a groove. The point is, I'll find a good spot. Right, let's get the shock count down to two and have another go. Right, we're about to run on just the two. Shock absorbers. Nice. Now there's the matter of setting off. It's moving great. Though now I recall that all of the mud was finding its way into the cabin. Oh, 
Can you at least try to turn? Now this is some real off-road action. Come on now. This thing won't go where you pointed. Looks like I wasted the motor again. Oh well. Screw it. Not bad, eh? Someone needs a steam bath. Yeah, you're probably right. Well, what can you do? Things happen during filming. The camera's fine, it's nice and clean. Did you see mine? What did you do that for? The lens is clean, carry on shooting, dude. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> right, fellas, this experiment was almost a complete success. The weather didn't do us any favors, but no worries. I mean, we were able to get a good understanding anyway. So when you're running such a ludicrous amount of shock absorbers, like on that picture you saw, it's obvious that the weight of the car and the articulation of the shock absorbers themselves, I mean the load that they have to bear, that's all calculated, the angles and everything. But if you just randomly throw a bunch of them in there, well, it's not going to work properly, which you just witnessed for yourselves. There's not a lot of weight here, and the more shocks you add, the worse it gets. It becomes stiff as a bar stool, to the point where it's impossible to drive. I mean, if you do have a spare back, then by all means. Otherwise, don't do it, since it'll beat your ass up too. <laughs> Right, fellas, we're looking at some definitive results here. If you just slap a bunch of shocks on without giving it any thought, it won't do you any good. You're gonna need to think it through, mix and match stuff, do some trial and error. This isn't something you can nail from the get-go, which we just successfully illustrated. So it's all good and fine. We got a bit unlucky with the weather, but whatever. And that's all I have for you. Watch us, subscribe, send in those comments and suggestions, give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later. I need a shower. Like now.